right. I'm gonna make a big deal out of this because it is a big deal. So how's it going? Good. All YouTube, say hi to Elzar. <laughs> hi, <laughs> hi YouTube. Um, this is a very pivotal time, all right, for what just happened yesterday. Okay. And so now and then I visit um, the Frank Rosetta on Instagram, right? Right, right. You know me, man, from the beginning, Frank Rosetta mm -hmm. fan, right? Before I tell you what's going on, I gotta make it dramatic because that's just the way I am. Mm -hmm. All right, so you know my journey as an artist. Uh, you know, right. I worked towards what I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. But there's a lot of things that I've noticed that artists have. Some artists are natural in design, such as yourself. You know when I point out shapes and stuff like that? Right, right. Even Peter, he didn't even know he did it, right? Mm -hmm. And I didn't start off that way. I was all anatomy, all anatomy. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have right. one design that sent in my body. But I would argue that no one talks about design. The only one that spoke to me about design was Corny Cole. Okay. <clears throat> I was looking at a Jiminy Cricket shot. Yeah. And Corny goes, see all that design in that? And I go, no, what are you talking about? He goes, oh. And then he, I had to go. And I was like, oh. He goes, we'll talk about it when you come back. Okay. He died. I never saw him again. Oh, my gosh. So I'm like, great. Yeah. This guy was going to talk to me about it all over. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I, I've always thought about what he said, design. And I thought, is it? There's real design in animation? There was. I started, it creeps up now and then, but no one really spoke about it. And I noticed that art, some animators do it naturally, some people don't. Right? Yeah, yeah. I cut on, right? And I thought, hey, okay. design. Right. So, Frank Frazetta, I never got to ask him a question. I've read all his books and all his interviews. There, I, I, I juxtaposed pieces of his interview to conclude certain things. So I made these videos called Understanding Frazetta, right? Okay, right. Some people have said, like, is that how you understand Frazetta? Exactly. How I understand yeah, Frazetta. Yeah, right, right. I can't speak for him. I don't know him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in all his interviews, he says he's not technically minded, right? Mm -hmm. He's intuitive. He just doesn't. Spoken yeah, like a true yeah. natural, right? Right, right. So I looked at it like, well, then I'm going to figure him out. I'm going to take this enigma and I'm going to solve this piece. Yeah, yeah. It's led me to a, a wormhole of a ton of videos. Right. I saw that he has design sense. He's yeah. looking at shapes. He's thinking okay. abstract. And he's not thinking in complete shapes, too. He thinks in patterns, mm -hmm. according to some mm -hmm. interviews. Mm. And um, it was interesting that he said patterns and he didn't say shapes, you know? That's interesting. It is, because a shape is a shape like a triangle or a square. A pattern is a combination of the size and shapes that you orchestrate. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you think of pattern, a pattern is pretty much like what art movement is, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. So he thought that was an interesting word to use. So I dove into that, and then I made videos on mm -hmm. that, for Zeta and Design. Right. Now, I've had some people criticize me saying, I'm making a big deal of it more than I'm making more of a big deal of it than it is. He didn't really? think of it that way. Maybe, maybe. Mm. But this mm. is how I see it. When I saw mm. your art, I was showing you what you were doing and you didn't know. Yeah, right. And you're like, dude, I didn't know I did that. So yeah. I looked at it like this. Maybe this guy's so damn natural. He didn't know he was doing it. Right. I'll point it out, make videos of it then. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. And again, more criticism people were saying, you're making a big deal out of it. Really? It's not what you think. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're too analytical, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. But the way I see it is somebody has to decipher this thing because I'm seeing yeah. patterns. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I see it in animation and I'm right. also seeing it in his work, right? Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because if you see all my videos, I've never spoken to him, but all mm -hmm. my videos I conclude look at his design, look at his shapes. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Anatomy last. Mm -hmm. It's a radical mm -hmm. notion, right? But mm -hmm. even, I did one on Jim Lee. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know anatomy, I just know shapes. And, you know, mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Bro, mm -hmm. on Instagram, mm -hmm. there's a video that um, his granddaughter put up. Okay. And he says, design is king, and I look at shapes. Wow, wow. I feel vindicated. <laughs> vindicated, man. I feel vindicated. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I'm so happy to so say that. That's great. So for all the people who were saying I looked into it <laughs> too much and all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. 
it looks like my videos on understanding for Zen. Yeah. I should rename them, call them how to understand for Zen. <laughs> right. Because I was right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. the feeling. Yeah. Is insane. It was last night. Yeah. I looked at it and I was just oh, like, man. I was right. Yeah, yeah. And he says it. Great. He goes, anatomy, it's important, but not as important as design. Mm -hmm. Design, right. shape, right. color you want, it's yeah. king. It's king. Yeah, he's like, you go far away, you're looking, right. and he has a he has a drawing like of a pterodactyl guy. You see uh -huh. this massive triangle. Yeah. There it is. Right. He right. thought in design. And right. um, it's the first interview I heard yeah. where he really emphasized on technique. Yeah. He talks right. about accents, he talks about contrast, he talks about wow. how to make something pop. But ultimately what concluded from that whole video shapes and design man shapes that, and design and yeah and it's crazy because like i was telling my son this morning mm -hmm. two things happened here again i'm happy but at the same time i'm a little sad so this is what happened we're learning about greek mythology by the way i'll tie that in together right right so with religion right mm -hmm. christianity mm -hmm. the answers are there it's in the bible mm-hmm the Greeks made you kept the mystery alive. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it was like a guy. Anyway, you know, maybe I'm wrong, all right? But you know, anybody new to correct me. So this is just theories that I had. Right. Theories. Yeah. I was going to continue to make more videos and all that stuff. Okay. But now that he said it, yeah, the mystery's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, that little voice in my head i was saying hey remember that oh painting? wow Look at that. see right, that illustration right, right. remember that like, yeah that voice is gone that guy is gone yeah uh -huh. he said it it's done he said it yeah um i almost wish i never heard the interview <laughs> <laughs> right because you could because i would go to sleep that. randomly randomly uh -huh. like like okay and what i'm doing now i'm doing i have a job Mm -hmm. I'm, I have my private projects, right? I do mm -hmm. coding, and I also I arm wrestle, right? You know, it's just mm -hmm. the thing I do with my son. Right. I'm very analytical, but in the back of my mind, when I go to sleep randomly, a thought will hit me and say, "Did you remember yeah. that painting he did? Maybe, oh. he, maybe he did this thing randomly." Right, right. So right. my brain subconsciously is still trying to solve the enigma that is Frank Frazetta. Right, right. Just yeah, because that's just who I am. My ADD, yeah. those are my powers, right? Yeah, yeah. That guy's gone. Yeah. <laughs> It's over. Yeah. Um, Frank said it's over. It's done. He, yeah. <laughs> he said it. And, yeah, he already said it. Huh? And and then I, part of me is happy. Uh huh. Because of the naysayers. Mm hmm. But part of me is a little sad. Yeah. It almost feels like the kid that you met when we started at Way Forward. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that little light in his eye where he was trying right. to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> so it taught me a lesson. Yeah. I don't think I want to look into things as much anymore. Yeah. You, you don't think so? I'm done. No? No, I don't want to do that. Because there's other things that I had, like Rembrandt. Mm -hmm. That's one of the one of the perplexing puzzles that I've had. Like People say he's the best. Why? No one can answer mm -hmm. that question. Like, he's just this. Mm -hmm. It's not an answer. Mm -hmm. Look at his work. Like, well, I'm mm -hmm. looking at it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would argue there's better illustrators today. Right. What's so special? Right. Norman Rockwell right. himself said, they asked him in an interview, who's your number one artist? And he goes, of all time? Yeah. Like, yeah, I can only pick one. Uh -huh. goes, That's easy. That's remember. And I'm like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Rockwell painted better, in my opinion. Uh huh. What are they talking about? Yeah, yeah. I've been looking at blogs. I've been looking for the answer. What yeah. is making it great? I even looked at all these things on um, the right. curators and they're like, see, see, yeah. his paintings, uh -huh. it looks like somebody's pulling their hair back. And I'm like, okay. Okay. Uh huh. What makes him great? I hope it's not stuff like this. And then I looked up uh -huh. into his biography. He had terrible okay. likenesses in all his paintings. Nobody liked it because they didn't look Oh, like really? <laughs> no, but he's known for his portraits, uh -huh. right? And some okay. techniques. Right, right. But that doesn't answer the question. Why is everyone yeah. saying he's the best? He's now, the best. everyone said that, but the one that matters to me the most is Norman Rockwell. He said it. Oh, okay. It's not just anybody who said it. It's Norman uh -huh. Rockwell who said it. Okay. 
why. And uh -huh. lessons like Frazetta just made me realize mm. I'd rather not know the answer. Mm -hmm. I'd rather not read anymore. I'd rather listen yeah. to interviews, be perplexed, than stay that way. Uh huh. <laughs> it's just not worth it. There was something yeah. about what he did uh -huh. that made me me, you know? And I feel like yeah. the more answers I'm getting, the more some things are dying. Right. Like, right. here's another example. I sent a letter to the Walt Disney Studios when I was, um, actually, I didn't send, I called Walt Disney Studios when I was around 12. Okay. When they were in the Burbank Studios. And I asked them, yeah. I want to be an animator. Okay. And they sent, me, awesome. they sent me a packet. Okay. And this lady, I still have the letter. So when I went to Disney, so I had so a cool. letter up and everything. Yeah. In the packet, uh -huh. it had a line that said, uh huh, to be an animator. You have to be a master of anatomy. Uh huh. It didn't say good. It said mm -hmm. master. Mm -hmm. I had the impression that everyone in that studio is a Michelangelo, mm -hmm. and they know it yeah. as good and as you know as better than he did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And be a master of locomotion and anatomy and movement. And I was like, right. dude, well, right. I get a brush up on my anatomy. Uh huh. Right. And then I go to Disney's. Uh huh. Nobody knows anatomy. <laughs> few people right right i was like oh yeah <laughs> i over prepared <laughs> a little bit <laughs> so when i got there i'm like i know the ligaments yeah. and all this shit yeah not yeah. people knew i mean tarzan but like we blended uh -huh. it he did like shapes and he had like right, a person right. go over it for the anatomy so i'm like dude yeah. now two things happened there but and, and one Okay. They put me in a spiral of this quest to be able okay. to be an animator and I had to meet the criteria. Right. right. Second, right. when they said that, something died. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I still did it because I still really? wanted to understand it personally, me. But that wonderment mm -hmm. was gone. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I realized that it was inevitable. Had I gone to Disney's now or later, I would, or even now, like when I meet animators, you know, mm -hmm. but I heard that they don't know anything about anatomy. Okay. Mm -hmm. They know some, but not as detailed. Mm -hmm. So the way I see it is the sense of wonderment keeps you young. Mm -hmm. The sense of wonderment yeah. Yeah. gives those spark in the eye. That sense of wonderment keeps me up at night with a smile right. on my face. Right. Right. <laughs> it's almost like the answers are better. I was better wondering, you know? But that being yeah. said, though, it's not so sad. The way I see it is, uh -huh. that was one interview. Mm -hmm. and that's what I got. One interview. Right. Same with Jim Lee. One interview. Mm -hmm. I think I'm good. I'm, I'm, if there's more, then there's more. Yeah. I don't know if I want to know. I think I just yeah. have to look at the work, wonder, and keep making videos, understanding yeah. Rosetta. Maybe it's what he was yeah. thinking, maybe what it wasn't. Now, what's the obsession with Rosetta? What's the obsession? I don't, everyone has an eye. Uh -huh. I have an eye. In my eye, I'm not into barbarians. I'm not into the content that he does. I'm not into that. Okay. Uh huh. But there's something very appealing. Mm hmm. And I don't know what that is. So I'm out right. to find out what the hell that is. You can pinpoint it. Yeah, you were trying to figure it, it out. Yeah, like, right. why, why is that look good? Why do I like that? So I'm right. answering the questions why? Mm -hmm. right. Mind you, there's a big difference between a fanboy who likes everything, even poop. I'm not that. Mm. I'm a fan. No, nah, you might want to call me more like an admirer, right? Like, mm -hmm. I admire what he's doing. Like, I'm rooting for him. You know what I mean? Right. Um, there's some pieces that are okay, but then there's some pieces that are just, what the hell? That's crazy. It stands right. out to me. Right. Um, so just so you know, this can be with anybody, really. But yeah. this is just all my point of view. Like, I'm not speaking for the world. Right but for me, I don't know what it is about the stuff, but there's something pretty perplexing and stuff I've never seen like that before. Yeah, and yeah. Um, it put me into a spiral of where I am today, mm -hmm. and it's weird. I literally feel like this every day, mm -hmm. and it's lessened like so much. Mm -hmm. it feels, it feels, wow. I feel more steady now. <laughs> <laughs> really, uh, and I still have some uh, few unanswered questions, but I think I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. But with that being said, with being all dramatic, and I want to show you the Instagram page. Hold on. It's interesting. It's, uh, it's while you're doing that, just a real quick thing. I, 
I, I noticed that I don't like watching um, um, documentaries on how they make films anymore. Really? Um, like the Fellowship of the Ring and the, the whole trilogy. There's like the, um, the appendices had like, you know, like how they made the film. And I thought that was great. And I could watch that multiple times. But any other film, I I just don't want to know. I just would rather enjoy the film as it is. You know what I mean? Dude, it's right here. This is it. Oh, that's it, huh? That's it. This is where he's talking. And yet, here was this enigma. I had to tell stories at the off. same time. Somehow. Wow. That's it. That's the one. Huh. Everybody watch it. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it taught me a lot about, you know, I know what he said, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I'm seeing something else, yeah. you know, right. and, and, and it's interesting how people like, I don't want this to make a video about like what people are like, but they always told me not to look into it that much, just accept it for what it is. Yeah. You know, it's easy to say, you know? Yeah. It's kind of my business what I want to do with my time. Right. You know? Right. But I will tell yeah. you this. It's affected me. In my opinion, it's mm -hmm. impacted my, my work to a, a better, mm -hmm. well, to the, to, to the conclusions that I want to draw, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I'm happy. Yeah. I think that's all that really matters, you know? Right. Right. But it uh, feels good. Yeah. To hear him say it. Yeah, you're definitely validated. Feels you know? interesting. Yeah. yeah. It was interesting. And again, it's a validation I'm, to, to what you were saying. I'm trying to humble myself. Like, why do I care so much for what he thinks? Why? Mm -hmm. Why? You know, it's just like when you see somebody else that you admire, you just want a little bit of that. Whatever mm -hmm. that is. Right. Know? Whatever that is. Whatever right. that is. I'd like to have some of that. Yeah. That's all it yeah. is. You know? Right. And right. For an example, Milk Call. Milk Call is the most copied animator to this day. Mm -hmm. You know, he did this design of Roger under the One Dalmatian. This is the most copied design of all time. You know, everybody right. wants a little bit of that. Right. You know, mm -hmm. Where it's kind yeah. of tasteless now. Uh -huh. But um, I think every artist has a, has a person. They have a Miyazaki. Yeah. They have right. someone. Right. Everyone wants a little bit of that. I want a little bit of that. Yeah. And I don't yeah. know what that is. Yeah. But, you know. But that's okay, you know. And um, this is why this know, video is so important. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's the most pivotal video I think I'll ever do. <laughs> yeah. Because going yeah. forward, I don't, I'm not gonna call this understanding for Zeta. Mm -hmm. This video is gonna be labeled like validated. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Vindication, like. Yeah. Um, I'm not steering because I had comments people telling me I'm steering people in the wrong way. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I did. No. It's just another point of view. But right. Here's another thing. Right. What exactly are people are concerned about me steering? Like career wise? I have a career. What's the what's the mm -hmm. what's the being an artist? You don't even have to listen to any of this to be an artist. You just do what you do. Yeah. I need my people to be an artist. I don't need anybody. You right. just do it. Right. But if you're saying these aren't the tools for the industry, I beg mm -hmm. to differ. I beg to differ. <laughs> They're not in the industry. <laughs> no, you probably don't have a job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, hope, I hope this video doesn't come across as I'm trying to argue. With you. I'm not trying to do that. Uh huh. I'm trying to pave the way of people to relax, be open yeah. to new ideas, be open to different points of views. Right. And humble yourself. It worked out for me. Yeah. It might work out for you. And if it's different yeah. from everybody else, it's cool. Right. It doesn't make it radical, it doesn't make it crazy. You know, the need to shut people down is, is uh, you see it in our culture right now. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's unfortunate, really. Yeah, and this is not something, like, I'm not hurting anybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, but uh, it's interesting. Yeah, that's great, man. What a great experience, though, you know. Um, I definitely know that um looking into what you did before this video that video that you saw um not only helps you but it helps me 
in oh, other it? people. Did it? Yeah. yeah, of course. Because like <clears throat> whenever you you look at my stuff, right? And um and you say that I do certain things that like I don't even see. It makes me realize, oh, there are, you know, I mean, when we went to art school, you know, before I went to CalArts even, you know, they, they, I went to, you know, I took, you know, I was in college and, um, you know, took art classes. And those are the things that we talked about in design class, you know, um, patterns and um, shapes and line and like contrast and all that stuff. All of that stuff pertains to any, every single art form, you know, it. It pertains to even music, you know, um, sculpture, you know, all of that stuff. I mean, look, this and, is this is the stuff that is inspiring me to, man. Look, this is the stuff yeah. he's doing. This is for Seda. Yeah. Yeah. Look, design, right? Yeah, definitely, man. It's just crazy what it's done. Like, it's made me do slides. Uh huh. Just trying to figure out the patterns, you know. Right. Right. Yeah. Because, you know, like knowing that and understanding that helps me become a better artist because. Well, only you can determine that, right? Like what makes you become a better artist? Yeah. Yeah. What makes me a better artist? Because there's, you know, and sometimes I, w I won't know what I'm lacking, you know, or. But, you know, the, n studying another artist that you admire, you know, um, helps. You know, it definitely helps. So I, I don't, I don't, yeah, yeah I just I, don't understand why people would tell you that you're overthinking it or like you're overanalyzing it. Well, that's none of their business, <laughs> you know, like, dude, analyze think, away, you yeah, know. Yeah, I, I look at it. Analyze it's a compliment. away. Yeah. It's a compliment. So. Yeah. And, you know, and the fact that you did that actually, you know, you have something to say and people want to hear it, you know, because there's things that I, didn't really understand about no you know i didn't understand about frazetta that makes me it's like oh wow I, I now i see that you know and the fact that i see that it's like maybe i can understand it better how i can implement that in my own work or even if i was just a um an, someone who appreciates frazetta's art right a collector or someone who is an enthusiast of frazetta you the the fact that you analyzed it and you're you know that you actually shared that information and now being validated by the man himself it makes you appreciate what your the kind of um work real work that it really took for um his art to be made do you know what i mean because a lot of people think that like as artists like oh you're so quote unquote talented right i'll be honest um i'm uh, being later in my life at this time you know i kind of resent that now that that word talent and i i believe that a lot of the stuff that people actually achieve as artists is not just pure mere talent it's a lot of hard work yo you know it's a lot of hard work it's a lot of studying it's a lot of like um taking those things that we've studied and analyzed and and did all that stuff and implemented into our work that's a lot of hard work and it makes me appreciate um you know you analyzing that makes me appreciate um Frazetta even more because of that because it took a lot of hard work you know it isn't just about copying things or understanding things. It's also the fact that as an artist, it's not just about copying things and putting it down. It's also um, guiding people's eyes, you know, designing it the way you want to make people feel a, a particular way. It's communication, you know? It really is that. Yeah, I mean, again, like, um... This is my journey. This is what I wanted to do with my time. <laughs> I just yeah. wanted to understand. I just didn't understand. Like when people say, if you move that arm to the right, it'll be good. What the hell? And then I would ask, how do you know that? I just right. feel it. Right. Mm -hmm. And the guys saying it are awesome. Right. You know, mm -hmm. So you just feel it, huh? Mm -hmm. If you move it to the right, perfect. Mm -hmm. I never liked it. I always mm -hmm. wanted to know why. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't help me. Right. It just makes right. me feel like I don't got the tools. 
Right. I like to have those tools. You know? Right. Mm -hmm. Eventually, in time, you can move that thing to the right. And I'll tell you exactly why. Mm -hmm. Millions of reasons why. No problem. Right. right. So you could do it too. You know? Yeah. It's not a magical right. thing. But that one thing that I said, make it to the right, took me years to learn. <laughs> you know? There's a reason for all of them. You know? Um, Anyway, you know, it's just some some of us some of us girls aren't born talented. Just have to study harder than yeah. us. So, right, I'm right. A, I'm a late bloomer with everything I've ever done. So, you know, it's just yeah. It is, you know. I I have one, I had one guy at Disney told me this. He said, mm -hmm. he's a good friend of mine. So I don't take it, but he said, mm -hmm. "Hey, you know, uh, you have to work hard to do this stuff, huh?" I go, "Yeah." He goes, "I don't think it's worth it." And I go, "Really?" Ah. He goes. <laughs> oh man, I've seen guys like you, and he meant it well. You know, I don't take okay. it personal. He's a good friend of mine. Uh -huh. He goes, okay. I see guys like you. You know, you try real hard, you'll make it. Uh huh. You know, but it's a lot of trying. And I go, what about you? You don't got to try those. No, nah, dude, I'll wake up, do it. And I don't know how I did it, but do it. And I goes, everyone like that like you? He goes, everyone like me is like me. Yes, but just relax and chill. Guys like you? Uh huh. I don't know. It's not. I don't think it's worth it. Man. I would, I would, he goes, I would recommend it to you. Just don't bother with it. It's just too much of an effort. What? Yeah. He goes, I wouldn't work that hard for this. And I go, really? And then when, when the time hit 530, mm -hmm. he took off to his cube. He mm -hmm. did something and he took off. Mm -hmm. And I go, so you live on the dot? He goes, hell yeah, I got a life. Mm -hmm. And I go, so you never studied? He goes, no. Nope. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I just do it. He knows, and I just see people like you who try and just, I don't know, I don't, I don't think it's worth doing something you gotta try so hard. And mm -hmm. I told him, I just really wanted that as all. Well. He goes, mm -hmm. well, I'll help you. Mm -hmm. And then the best he can do when I would do animation, he would go over it for me. Okay. That's it. Other than that, you just recommended I wouldn't stress so hard on it. Mm -hmm. And I told him, no, it's not so much on stress, and I actually enjoy it. He goes, you enjoy this shit? I go, yeah. Mm. Mm. Right. And he's an amazing <laughs> animator. Amazing. Sure. Amazing animator. But there you go. Right, right. That's. Oh, wow. Well, I, um, I'm, I'm at all talent, I'll be honest. Like, that mm. came from a talented mouth, you know? Talented well, you know what person. I. Yeah. Well, you know what I, I am at all at? This is hard work. You know, um, yeah, me too, man. Like I, I am, I'm, I'm in awe. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, I am in awe at hard work, um, because, and it's funny because, um, I talk, you know, I, I've already told you this, but I, I talk to my, my family, you know, my kids, my boys about you, you know, how, you always talked about how, like, when you were younger, you never thought that you had talent, and a lot of people said that you didn't have talent, but you worked your ass off. And guess what? Look at where you are now. And I use you as an example. And I admire that a lot. You know, because people who are considered talented, I'll be straight up because, you know, I've been told that I was talented most of my life when it comes to art. We get lazy. <laughs> lazy, you know? And the thing that that guy was saying, I mean, you know, to each his own, okay? So that, that guy that was saying that, that to you um, at Disney's, you know, I'm sure he's a great guy and he's uh, very, you know, talented and, um, you know, he, he, he's at a point in his life where he can do whatever and all that stuff. But um, I feel like I know that if Jesus is presented a challenge in his life, okay, that a brand new thing, that he needs to learn, I know that Hitsus can do it because he has already experienced it before. Or he, if he wanted something, he's, he knows how to get to mastering it. People who are talented, not so much. <laughs> not so They're much, like, let yeah, me gotta, tell you. I'm going to make an effort. The hell with this. <laughs> Because they have to make an effort, well, and you know, people you, you have to make an too. effort. Uh, you meet them at school, they're like the dudes who know how to make a book report without reading the book. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. 
Right. I can never do that. I have to read the book. But people are like, nah, yeah. dude. You just look at the back page. You're set. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I have some friends who just never read and just can get straight A's and yeah. guess the whole paper. So right. How do you do that? It's a yeah. gift, you know? Yeah. And they don't know. It's, some of them you know, saying, that's the thing. Know. It's like, it's not something that's sustainable, in my opinion. I you think know, I think you're I think you're right. I think when it comes you know? to like, because what we're doing, it's about being honest with yourself. Yeah, so absolutely. It's, so it's, you're really tricking. Who? <laughs> Maybe you can trick people at work, but in the end, like, it's you doing art. You're yeah. really like tricking you know, yourself. You know, there's a phrase that I that I um, learned um, a few years back that I always think about now about everything, not just not just in business or 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 anything. It's measure, monitor, adjust, and control, you know. And um, with that, you know, those words, you're able to improve in whatever that you're doing, you know. You have to be able to measure how how you're doing at something, you know, and you have to be able to adjust. And honesty is a huge part of that. But um, if you're a person who just thinks about, like, talent, um, talent can, I'll be honest, man, some people who are, you know, considered talented, you know, at a later part of their life, it, you could see how much laziness happens in their work. You could see it, you know, um, but people, it, again, sustainability, you know, and it's not just about, let's say, art, right? If a person is super talented at art, you know, um, and it comes so easy to them, you know, um, like, for example, for me, okay, I'll just say something personally. I always thought that I was talented at writing, you know, when I was, um, when I was growing up because I did get straight A's and I did get A's. Uh, I wasn't so great at math, even though I got good grades, but, um, but see, that's the thing, you know, like I never had that skill of just like working hard for something you know and it makes it more difficult later in life to like finally figure that out <laughs> that oh i have to work hard for something that i don't know you know like um learning how to do a 3d animation or like anything technical like there's some as an animator we have to learn so many different um different um uh, programs <laughs> just to survive right you know now we're having to deal with unity you know we have spine we have all of these things but guess yeah. what i know someone who could definitely learn that just like that because he's worked hard for everything he had to do and that's his yeah I, I i remember like that transition when we were all at cal arts doing it from paper mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden we had to learn to yeah mm-hmm to survive in the industry. Some people didn't make it. <laughs> yeah. No, somebody some people to. didn't make it. And then yeah, they refused to. There was 3D. Slowly right. crept up. Right. Mm -hmm. Clean house. Exactly. Nobody was yeah. there. I survived. So what it. happened? I survived. Right. It. Yeah, because I learned it. And then when I learned it, I was like, I'm going to teach Elevore. And I taught you how to do it. But then yeah. it keeps going, right? So now it's right. not enough that you know 3D. No, it's not. Bro, now we have to learn the Unreal Engine. We got to understand exactly. Unity. Exactly. Yep. What's next? Man? Right. Right. Now what? You know, it's like, yeah. like, we code now? Because I'm already coding. So it's like, is that the next step? Is that how I know, we right? know? Like, yeah. this is crazy. Hey, man, you know code. You know game design, right? Which, you know, you didn't learn that from CalArts. Right. Um, you also know how to um, you are learning backgrounds now, background design and um, UI design as well. But you I got I got to get credit to CalArts in this part. They did encourage us to do private projects. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they made us at least the, they didn't at say, least the yeah, um, they, they discouraged at least they teachers. You, you, they were discouraged if you said, I'm animating on that guy's project. No, no, uh -huh. you're animating on your own project. Yeah. You will storyboard it, you will do the layouts, and you will pitch it, and you'll write the script. Right. right. Whether and you I'll be want honest, to or not. I'll be honest, at least the day teachers. <laughs> Some of the night teachers too, but at, mostly the day teachers. The day you teachers. Know, because, the day teachers are yeah. better than the night teachers. 
<laughs> the night teachers the were teacher. the ones in the industry. The day, te- the day teachers were been in the industry and were like, nah, dude, don't do it like those boys. <laughs> it's a, it was a good balance, I suppose, right? But um, but the day teachers definitely um encouraged us to to work on our own 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 projects because yeah, it's true. Like, like that was the opportunity that was the opportunity to do it, you know, because um. And the funny thing is a lot of industry people go to CalArts to see what those opportunities have become, you know, because they don't get to do that. We don't now, right? I mean, you do. I know you do. You're working on your own project. But, you know, for the past 20 odd some years working in this industry, um, it's hard to get to the point where you can work on your own projects, right? You know, um, I mean, I got to do it a little bit, you know, doing some illustrations uh, that I wanted to do. But as far as like, um, you know, uh, most of the time we're working, (laughs) you know, we're working for someone else doing other people's intellectual properties. You know, Um, when do we get to do work on our own stuff? You know, and, um, you know, you you do get to miss that. And uh, being at CalArts was uh, um, was a great time to do it, you know, definitely. Yeah, it was good yeah. to be around the atmosphere, uh, people who did it. Like, yeah, exciting. Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, to be inspired by art is to be around artists, is, you know, to see like how honest they are, like who's honest, right. <laughs> who's right. not. It doesn't make it right or wrong. It's just nice to know, like, how some people ex- choose to express themselves, you know. Um, some people choose to dictate their work based off what a teacher says. That doesn't mm-hmm. make it right. That doesn't make it wrong. Mm-hmm. That's just how he went about it. The other one's listening to himself, nobody else. And the other one's listening to his peers, nobody else. You know, mm-hmm. Or some people collaborate. But I think it's important to be around that atmosphere to see what the results. Yeah. Know, what happens. Yeah. Right. You know, how did, how did right. that work? And what works for you? You know, Because mm-hmm. there's a lot of approaches at the end of the day. Um, right. But it's crazy how, like, years later, we circle back to our experience at CalArts. It's making yeah. sense. Uh-huh. Like, it's all making sense, you know? Right. Uh, yeah. I did a little talk about CalArts yesterday with my son. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, and it was just... Recorded? <laughs> I recorded it, yeah. yeah. So, okay, cool. But, I mean, if you want to get the gist of it, the gist of it was, if you go to the school to learn a skill... Right? Uh-huh. They told us, you know, it's not a trade school. Right. We teach mm-hmm. artists. At the time, mm-hmm. I didn't understand. Because when I yeah. got there, there was a lot of kids who couldn't draw. Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. I didn't understand years later, to draw, you can learn it one day. Uh-huh. Right? Animation, you can learn it. Do a yeah. walk cycle every day, eventually you get better at it. Right? Yep. Um, I mean, testimony here, right? Like, yeah. Did not know how to animate, I could animate. Right. But there's one thing that cannot be taught. Being, art, being an artist. And what that school did is they selected artists. And they didn't come in the shapes of the way we wanted them to come. Like great drafts and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, they right. Were, in a portfolio, they didn't care about a, a beautiful hand that's drawn well with anatomy. Uh-huh. If you had drawn a hand with butterflies around it, tell a story, that's what right. you want to see. Right. They want to see your point of view. If you had like, I don't know, you wanted to say something, express something, emote something in work. That's what they emote wanted. They wanted to they wanted right. to train you to make films to do that. Mm-hmm. But if mm-hmm. you just drew like side profiles of people and you could draw a nostril like nobody's business, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's not, you know, clearly yeah. you're in a trade type mentality and it's not suitable uh-huh. for the school. Right. right. But if you're an artistic and I got lucky because I did two portfolios. My okay. first portfolio was constructive anatomy and drawing because that's what I thought uh-huh. they wanted. My right, second portfolio right. was done with brush markers. And it was really experimental. Wow. And I showed Very it to cool. some CalArts people and they said, that first one's no good, that second one is what it's all about. And I go, really? Why? Wow. And they said, we don't know why. I'm just letting you know what gets it. I'm like, oh, oh right. okay. And now I know why. Cool. Like, it was experimental. They saw that I was willing to experiment and have fun with Right. Drawing. Right. As opposed to drawing well, you know? Mm-hmm. And um, it makes sense now. Like, they wanted artists. 
And if you didn't know how to draw or animate at the moment, it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's so true. It didn't so matter. True. You will. Yeah. It will come. Yeah. But the art part, you got it. And we want you right. to be here in Hogwarts with all the other wizards so you can watch <laughs> them do their thing. Right. That Slytherin, right. that's how you know what I mean? Uh -huh. They're all here. Oh my god. There were definitely Slytherin people yeah, there. Yeah, Slytherin people, there are Hufflepuff people, and there's... <laughs> yeah, there was. Calls, there were all those people. It was all accurate. Yeah, and there were snakes all over the place. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But then in the end, you have those, you know? Right, right. And it's funny because, you know, I shared my chicken film. You know? Uh-huh. And like, there you go. If I wasn't an artist, I wouldn't be able to do that, you know what I mean? Right. Like, Right. Clearly, I had more than just drawing the figure. Mm -hmm. There was stuff yeah. inside that the school pulled out. You know, right. That once right. you do it once, it's quite contagious. You keep doing it again and again. You know? Yeah. Because I, I still I'm glad have that you're doing practice. it now. Yeah, I'm glad that you're doing it now, and it's inspiring. You know. We didn't inspiring. go this. We didn't go the same year, but I know you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. When it comes to storyboards, when it comes to layout, <laughs> mm -hmm. we, we we speak as artists and filmmakers. Mm -hmm. You know. Right. The, right. the tool of animation yeah. can be taught. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it can be taught. Yeah. It can be taught. So, um, this being an artist, a, though, this was a hell yeah. of a conversation. Thank you. Oh yeah, of course. And thanks for thanks for having me. Always, you know, uh, I appreciate you. I mean, it me. I was just appreciating you know. it. Keep going. Yeah. No. Um, I appreciate you um bringing me in. You know. Um, always fun, always fun. Um, as far as being an artist, um, yeah, I feel like uh, that that's something that can definitely be developed too. It's just that it takes time, you know. It takes a little bit more, more time to um, to get to that point because, um, you know, I feel like learning animation, learning drawing, and all that stuff, you know, anybody could learn that. I really believe that, you know. It's just like uh, that movie with um, Ratatouille, anyone can cook, anyone can draw, anyone can animate. I really believe that. But um, being an artist, it takes a lot more time because it's it's um, it has a lot to do with um, your your emotions, and um, it has a lot to do with your struggles, and also um, how your brain works as far as like um, as far as. Uh, are you able to express your what you're thinking or your feeling or or issues or or whatever you know because um, again I, I mean I'm just this is just my opinion you know uh, of course anybody on the um as far as an artist you know it it being an artist is is about expression and you know some of us growing up doesn't wasn't cultivated that way. Some of us are actually cultivated the opposite way where we're not supposed to express it, but we did it anyway, <laughs> you yeah. know? And that was me, you know? That was, that for me, that that was me. Where, um, yeah, you know, I wasn't- It's most like rebellion, it wasn't cultivated. It? Yeah, so there's rebellion. definitely aspect of that, right. And, um, but, you know, ultimately it's about expression and, some of us like are always held back we always hold back you know and that's the, the part that makes it difficult to be an artist you know um because because ultimately you know like you were showing me that um animation um uh thing from twitter yesterday you know and we were kind of discussing about like man this, you could tell that this guy um grew up with a lot of experimentation, you know, as an artist and as a young person doing what he was, you know, what he was doing. It's so impressive how that person got to that point already. Um, but I can tell, you know, from experience that that person, whether or not it was cultivated or not, that person was doing it a long time since he was a kid, or, or I think it was a, it was a gentleman, right? Um, he since he since he was a kid, you know, like experimenting and being exposed to certain particular art that led him towards that, you know. And now he's getting to express it, you know. So, 
anyway i digress you know and i think that's like like you're saying you know it's it's a lot harder to be an artist than to learn how to draw or to learn how to you know i mean i know many people who are in in our industry who are great at looking at a piece of um a, a bowl of fruit and paint it <laughs> right yeah. uh wonderful beautiful right but there's a way to paint a bowl of fruit that makes you feel something, you know, and that's to me is art, you know, there, I always, when I, when my boys were growing up, um, they would always show me their drawings. Right. And, um, I, I always told them that those are great. I love their drawings from, from how they express because they were expressing it, whatever they were doing, and with the skill that they had at the moment. And that was valid. Because I remember one time, uh, I believe it was, um, we actually, one of the things that we need to learn is to learn how to draw like we were children. You know? And um, I really, it, it like blew my mind because I never heard of that before, you know? And um, ever since then, I, I realized how wonderful it was to see my kids' drawings because um, that is the purest form of art in itself, you know? That's right, Dave. When um, I die, you can, I have a ton of their drawings. You can just put it all over my <laughs> Right, yeah. Because exactly. it's like Kevin, like my daughter just did one. Yeah. This is her, she drew herself. So. Oh my gosh, that's awesome! Dude, Look at the flower. Yeah, that, that expresses how she is. What is she? What is she about? You know, who she is as a person. You know, awesome. that purple, yeah, that purple she also flower. She sculpted this for me. It's a cup of coffee. Oh my god, that's awesome! Yeah, I love that. Yeah, there's marshmallows in here. The little straw. Wow, that's a lot of care. Yeah, you know. That, that tells a lot about a person. This is my trailer, you know? dude. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, skills, you know, drawing, painting, um, sculpting, technical stuff can all be learned. The yeah. question is... Yeah, yeah. You, know, you know where I learned about art? I think it was um, this movie, you know, Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Okay. When he's learning uh -huh. to play the piano, the lady goes, it's not about how well you play it, it's how you feel uh -huh. about it. Right. And I was like, there it is. That's art. Yeah. It's nothing to do with how well you play it, how you feel about it. Right. And pretty much if you listen to that interview presented there, mm -hmm. in the end it says, if you want to knock me out of the park, you know, you know he's like, make me feel something, you know? Because yes. Like, he's right. So <laughs> yes. Correct. I correct. wholeheartedly make me agree. Something. Make me feel something. Blow me out of the water. Make me feel something. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And make that's what, me that's feel. what I get from the Twitter people, right? All the empty mm -hmm. stuff. Right, Dude, right. It's like so raw. Right. It's <sighs> raw. It's like the, there's passion. There's absolute passion in their work. Dude. It took me a long time to get to that. I'll be straight up. With no, you. me too. Like, like I never wanted to show work because it wasn't perfect. Right, right. You know, right. You know like yeah. it needed to be drawn well. It needed to be looking well. Or else I never yeah. show it. Right. That hurt me right. the most, actually. You know? Yeah. I should have been more brave, like the people that Twitter, mm -hmm. where they're just like, here's my work in progress, here's my work in progress. You know, and, right, right, and again, right. what that lady says is not about how well you play, it's how you feel about it. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. it. So as long as the feelings are there, and you're trying your best, I think the, 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 it's just our culture is a little hard sometimes. You know, our culture now, like, it's so toxic. Like, people will just shun you. You know, you'll, you'll get shit down. Yeah. Like, when I did the Super Super Show, oh my God, right. you're going to get shit right. down. You're going to get shut down. It doesn't yeah. shut you down. It's like, right. instead of appreciating what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then mm -hmm. I remember I did Darkwing Duck. Mm -hmm. Just stop it. Just don't do it. Stop really? It. You don't own the license. Yeah. Like, Who you told you that? Oh, man. I, we took, we, me and my friend, when he had it in a form, he was paying for the engineer to code it. And okay. All the fans just stopped us on our tracks and just said, stop it. It doesn't belong wow. to you. Don't do it. This is after I did DuckTales Remastered. Oh, funny. Yeah. Oh, funny. And then I was just like, geez, there's a lot of gatekeepers here. And I said, okay, uh -huh. hey, 
So there was progress <laughs> being made on a, on, a, on, a, on a video game that will never be made. Uh -huh. I was making it, but you guys would rather not have it. Uh huh. You rather have it done right, but to not have yeah. it at all. Sure. So I took right. it all down. It was all it's gone. Okay. I obliterated it from the internet. Wow. Wow. Um, That's so sad. Thank the fans. Uh huh. They, they wanted it, but they didn't want it. Uh huh. <laughs> they wanted it officially. Years later, yeah. it's been over five years. They haven't done a game. Yeah. So no. either you let me. They do, won't get. Yeah, either they won't get, you appreciate really what won't. I did. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. me and you doing DuckTales Remastered. Right. The same crew is doing Darkwing Duck. Uh huh. <laughs> Doesn't belong to you. That's not yours. And it was, it was in the Unity forums. It was so bad, so negative. And I was wow. just like, wow. Okay, so it's nobody nice. wants it then. And then when I did the Super Mario Super Show, I thought the same thing. I thought, yeah, I don't want to, you know, I, I did some some camera here and there, but I was waiting yeah. for people to say, that doesn't belong to you, don't do that. Yeah. But the way I saw it, it wasn't for me, it was for my son, you know? Yeah. And it exactly. turned out that, look, I read it. I mean, what, how do you benefit from the thing not being done at all? Like, right, right. Like, but, you know, the, there's, we face cancel culture before people labeled cancel culture, you know, mm -hmm. long time mm -hmm. ago. It was, mm -hmm. um, but you know, I'll resurface Darkwing Duck and see what people's opinions are, and I'll show people yeah. what they did. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, like, for me, it, like, you know, of course you do you, man, but um, if somebody said that to me because of that purpose, it's like, um, and I'm not going to cuss in here, but whatever <laughs> you know i do this for myself if i'm gonna do something on my own time after work right i will do it because i want to and yeah. if i'm gonna post it um out there right i don't know maybe this is the rebellious nature of myself so it looks like i'm gonna so i'm like, gonna post it anyway so it looks like my gifts are they're like the box cycles that i do so oh that's yeah cool. <laughs> So that's, that's cool. That's, Forum Unity. See? Let's see if it's still up there. You can see all the people hating it. But don't work on Good it. Good times. Yeah. There's a lot of naysayers out so there, you know? And I really don't worry about them, you know? That's cool. Uh, so there's some positives here. But then mm -hmm. it, it gets pretty bad. Like, see? We were doing playables and stuff, but... Okay. Yeah. You see, somebody looks like somebody's doing it. But anyway... It's in there. People want to see it. People draw my life. It was enough for me to be like, you don't want it? You got oh, it. Oh, that's too bad. I'm going to work on it. Oh. You know, I do fan art all the time, right? You know, and I don't do it for anybody else except for myself. If people want to appreciate it, if, you, if people like it, cool. You know, if people don't like it, you can move on. <laughs> I'm not going to stop doing what I want to do um, just because somebody else is telling me, you know, and I'm not saying, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying, um, I guess I'm just reacting. You no, know, that's fine. You know, I'll be honest with you. The, the yeah. energy, the energy drained me so much. I didn't want it. Yeah, I, I get it. So, yeah. hey, yeah. hey world, you, you succeeded. Okay. Right. Whatever it is you want, whatever the energy was, got it, didn't do it anymore. Which pushed me to do private projects. Right. 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 But even when I did the Mario Super Show, I had one guy at a coffee shop when I was at EA. Okay. They were like, you did that, you did that. I was like, yeah, I did. And then there were one guy's like, he came up to me, he's all serious, he was to work on your own license. I was like, like, he seems so offended. Offended? <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, <laughs> I go, I did it for fun. I wanted to make my kid happy. That's it, so offended no, all I was who's doing was business sharing. is it i'm sorry Dude. but that's just who who's like mind yeah. your own business Bro, all it was, <laughs> oh my like, god i was doing it for my kid it was supposed to be fun that's it the dark wind duck thing i was doing it for fun for me actually wow. it wasn't good for anybody right. else but yeah no thanks and now yeah. uh, now that we, we labeled it we have a name for it called cancel culture so now yeah. it's more like yeah, I don't think I want to bother with the comments and just yeah, whatever you know. That's too bad. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry that you you go through that. And you know, the people people there will be people like that for sure. Oh, that's just you know? shocking and, to me. And Somebody's I get doing it. some cool you know? work, right? And you want to just cancel the guy? It's like okay, yeah. like then we have nothing. Right. Yeah. 
you know what it is um for me you know and you know the type of work that i do you know outside of outside of animation hey right? i gotta go actually all right man